All right, gang, welcome to this Friday edition of Yoga Lotties. We're gonna get started. Go ahead and please step to your mat. As always, barefoot is encouraged. Modifying is encouraged. Um, let's start in the first couple of steps of a real basic sun salutation sequence, which is just kind of a nice big overhead reach to forward fold. So take a uh, hip width stance with your feet. Draw your abs in tight. Take that nice big breath in. Bring the arms overhead. Reach through the fingers. Draw your abs in tight. Squeeze your glutes in. And really just press your feet into the floor. Grip the floor. Let's take one more big breath into it. Reaching higher on your exhale. Let's go right into a nice forward fold. If you need to soften your knees up, you can. But take the hands down. Relax into your legs and let's take three breaths, folding into the knees. Let your head and arms hang heavy as you fold in. Stretch your hamstrings, low back out. Two more breaths, always working through those sticking points. Relax into your legs, let the head and arms hang heavy one more time. Unroll the spine up nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. Take a big breath in, sun salutation, reach overhead. High as you can, get those arms in line with the ears. Draw the abs tight, squeeze your glutes in, press the feet into the floor. One more big breath in, and exhale, forward fold. We're gonna add in a sway this time. If you're not taking the hands to the floor yet, you can just take them to the ankles or shins and then just start moving that stretch around. Sway the hips, sway the hips. Three breaths, folding into the legs a little deeper as we sway the hips. Move that stretch around. Two more breaths. Let's take one more nice big breath and our forward fold sways. We're gonna unroll the spine up one more time. Drag the arms up, articulate the spine. Take the legs out as wide as you can, but where you still feel really strong in the legs. Take the hands to the floor. Again, if you need to bend or soften the knees to get the hands to the floor, you can. Keep your weight on your legs. We're gonna do a wide-legged downward facing dog. Stretch your arms out in front of you as far as you can. Dive your head and chest towards your mat as you reach out through the arms. Push your chest down, stretch your back, hamstrings, lengthen the spine, three breaths. Reaching out through the arms. Make sure your weight is on your legs. 80 to 90% of the effort is on the legs. Those arms should be able to hang out nice and loose out in front of you. Should be able to kind of twist side to side. We got a nice firm stance in the legs and feet. We're stretching those arms out. Open your hands really wide. Spring those fingers out as you push your chest down. Bring the shoulder blades together. Let's take two more breaths just for good measure. <sighs> One more breath, let's sink it down, stretch that back out, really good. One more breath. Okay, walk the hands under your chest, stay in that nice wide position. Let's go right into windmills. Keep the left hand right under the chest. Take a big breath in, and on your exhale. Rotate through your trunk, try to keep the knees straight. We want all the movement through the torso and hips. Palm is forward, turn your head, Look up your right arm as you reach up to the ceiling and behind you. Let's take one more breath in this first one. Okay, take a breath, bring the right hand down. Exhale, bring the left hand up. Follow the same steps. Move through the hips, keep the knees as straight as you can. If you need to bend them a little bit, make it work for you. One more breath and we'll put them together. Okay, inhale, left hand down. Exhale, right arm coming up into our windmill. We're reaching a little further, a little higher each time. Try to get the arms in a nice straight line. Inhale, down. Exhale, up. Inhale. 
inhale down, stay fluid. Exhale up, remember we're always moving with the breath. Keep that mind-body connection as strong as you can. Here we go, inhale down. Last one, exhale up. Oh, perfect, come down back to the center. Unroll the spine up one vertebrae at a time. Let's give the head and arms a little break. When we get to the top, we're gonna go right into our shoulder roll. So we call this a cactus. This pose is called cactus arms, where you open the hands wide, pull the elbows back, lift at the ears, shrug the shoulders, squeeze the shoulder blades back and down. We're just giving the shoulders a little break, warming up the shoulder girdle. Squeeze those shoulder blades. As you pull the elbows back, open the chest up. And when you roll forward, lift at the ear, shrug as high as you can and pull them back. Keep them going. Move with your breath. Let's do a few more. Good, three, two, one more big cactus arm. Oh, perfect. So we're gonna do a mudra. Stay in your wide stance with your legs. That shouldn't have changed. Lock your fingers together behind your back any way you can. If you can't do that, extend the arms straight behind you. Lock the elbows as best as you can. Pull your shoulders back. Really open the chest up very slowly. Take the head down as you extend the arms up as high as you can. Three breaths. We're stretching the chest, front of the shoulders. Pull the shoulder blades back as you lift your arms. Two breaths, diving the head, lifting a little higher each time. Two breaths, take them slow. One more breath in our mudra. Okay, bring the hands to the floor under your chest. Bend your knees just a little bit. So just a little bend in the knees. So we're in this kind of crouched position. We've got the hands on the floor. We're gonna focus on stretching the low back. Now walk the hands through the legs as far as you can. Get all the way back on those fingertips. Gently fold down, pull your head body through the legs as far as you can. Keep the feet soft, don't bend them too much. Stretch that low back out, real good. Three breaths. Keep walking those fingers back as far as you can, gently folding down. Two more breaths. Let's take one more nice big breath. Okay, walk the hands forward, straighten your legs out, unroll the spine up nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. And we're gonna take it down to the mat. So I'll ask you to step to whatever back edge of your mat is best for you. Remember, we're always kind of up and down. Make where you can see me okay. Let's start in child's pose. Feet closer together, knees out a bit wider. Sink your butt back towards your feet. Stretch your arms out in front of you. And before you fold down, I want you to sway your hips side to side with those arms stretched out. Let your legs move around. Get as flat as you can on those feet. Just take a couple more breaths and start bringing your chest down into your mat. Fold as deep as you can. Stretch those arms out as far as you can out in front of you. Push your butt down to your heels. Get as deeply folded into your mat as you can. Two breaths. Turn that music down just a hair. I hope that wasn't overpowering. Two more breaths in our first child's pose. Keep sinking deeper. One more breath. We're going to go into our oh so essential cat and cow. Every time, always do cat and cow. Come to table pose. 
arms under the shoulders straight, knees under the hips. So remember, when we go into cat, look at your belly button, tuck the chin, draw your stomach in and up, round your back, and shoulders as high as you can. Squeeze your glutes in, press into the mat, and release the cow. Do the exact opposite. Lift the head high, extend the hips, arch the back down. I say extend your hips, I mean stick your butt out. Pull the shoulder blades back, but keep the arms straight. Here we go, up to cat. Use your breath. It's really important on this one. Release the cow. We're going to do a few more. Keep trying to get higher and lower, guys. Here we go, up to cat. Release the cow. Two more. Get that spine moving as much as you can. Up the cat. All the way from the neck down to the tailbone. Release the cow. Let's do it one more time. Here we go. Last cat. High as you can. Squeeze the abs in and up. Push into the floor. And release the cow. Okay, let's give the wrists a break. Sit up tall on the knees. We're going to start with just a little back bend. Let's take the hands behind the back. So just take your hands behind your back. I'm going to move my mic back just a little bit. There we go. Uh, abs tight. Squeeze the glutes. Should have the knees right under the hips. Take a big breath in. Push your hips forward. Look up and back behind you. Pull your shoulders back. Squeeze your glutes in, abs tight, protect your low back and spine, three breaths. Pushing the hips forward, stretching the abdomen and hip flexors. Pull the shoulders back as far as you can. Open your chest up as you push your hips forward, looking up high to the sky. One more breath. We're going to do a forward low lunge to a modified triangle sequence. Let's go into our forward low lunge position. So what we're going to do here is stretch the hip flexors on the front of this back right leg. And then we're going to stretch the hamstrings on this forward left leg. Keep the arms down. Make sure you have a big angle at that front knee, maybe even a little bit more than what we typically do. Head chest up tall, lean the hips forward. Let's take three breaths on the first one. Here's our forward low lunge position. So really good hip flexor stretch. I like to have these in there regularly. Two breaths. Head chest up tall, hips leaning forward. This knee is our anchor point. Start leverage for the stretch. One more breath, excuse me. Now modify triangle fold. Push back, extend the knee straight. Flex your toes towards you. Take the hands to the floor if you can. If you need to keep the hands up here because you're really tight, that's fine. Without bending the knee, three breaths. Folding into the left knee. Here we go. Work through your sticking points on those exhales every week. If you continue to do that every week, you will greatly increase your range of motion and mobility. Relaxing into the leg on those exhales. Let's do one more and we're gonna go through it again. Very good, bring your head chest up tall, bend the knee, push the hips forward, forward low lunge, three breaths. We're gonna do them one more time. Of course, the goal is to get a little deeper into the stretch a little further. Two breaths, head chest up, shoulders back, abs in. Good habit to do anytime you're exercising or just always really. Practice that perfect posture, core tight, head tall. Shoulders back. One more breath. Modified triangle fold. Push back. Take the hands to the floor. Extend the leg straight. Fold to the knee. Three breaths. We're going to get a little deeper this time. Just 
two more breaths, taking the nose to the knee. Can you touch it? Just remember, nothing past an eight of discomfort, no matter how encouraging I get. One more breath. All right, good. Keep the hands on the floor and just push forward. So we're in a low lunge position, but we have the hands down. That left leg's forward. Keep your right hand on the floor. Modified reverse triangle. Let's add in a little more rotation. Left arm's coming up. Do not let that left knee push or bow out as you twist. Three breaths. Palm forward, arms in line as best as you can. Turn your head, look up your left arm as you reach to the sky and reach behind you. Get as flat against that imaginary wall behind you as you can. Two breaths. One more breath. Take that left hand down to join your right under the chest. Draw the left leg back. Take it into child's pose. Let's give that knee a little break. Sink down, recover, restore. Take the energy all the way down. Three breaths. Let's just give the back, hips, knees a little break here for a second. We're gonna go through that same sequence on the other leg. One more breath. All right, sit yourself up tall. Step your right leg forward. Remember, big angle at the knee so we can make that transition really easily. Head chest up, keep the arms anywhere you want. You can just rest them on your right thigh or keep them to your sides, anywhere you want. Three breaths and forward, low lunge. Let's give it one more breath, guys. Nice and slow with your breath. Push back, extend the leg straight, flex your toes towards you. Take the hands to the floor if you can, or you can keep them up here on the leg somewhere. Wherever is best for you as you fold to the knee. Find your sticking point, take it slow. I've found over the years, hamstrings in particular tend to have one side much tighter than the other. This is your tighter side. Just be a little more cautious. Give it a little more time. Two more breaths. This is my tighter side. Relaxing down towards the knee on the exhales. Let's do one more breath on this first one before we go through them again. Okay, push forward, bring your head chest up, take the arms off the floor, forward, low lunge. Here we go, three breaths again. Another little particular that you can do in a stretch like this. So we're stretching these back left hip flexors, the muscles in the front of the hip and thigh, that back left leg as we push the hips forward. If you squeeze your glutes on that left, leg on the back of that left hip, it's going to force those muscles in the front of the hip to relax even more. You'll get a better stretch. You might be able to get a little bit further up. So squeeze those glutes in on that left side of the back of that left hip. Feel that difference. You'll feel the stretch intensify just a little bit. One more breath. Here we go. Push back, modify triangle. Lock the toes towards you. And same thing with the hamstrings. If you think about flexing and engaging your quads on the front of the thigh, it's gonna force these hamstring muscles in the back to relax completely. So flex the toes, flex your quads, engage them. Hands on the floor or up on your leg, fold to your knee, three breaths. Let's see if we can get a little bit deeper this time. Two breaths. One more breath. We're going to get off the knees after this. Bring yourself up, push forward, take the hands under the chest, draw the right leg back, have a seat on your butt any way you can. However, you made that transition, it's just fine. 
Okay. We're going to start off in boat pose, seat or uh, you boat pose to a forward spine stretch or seated forward fold. Keep the feet down, lock the knees, flex your toes towards you and keep those toes facing the ceiling. We're going to do a modified bow pose. I want you to stretch your arms straight out in front of your shoulders with the palms down. Take a breath in. Roll yourself back slowly, not to the point where you're going to fall or be laying down completely, just to the point where you start to feel your abs and hip flexors having to kick in and work. Let's take two more breaths. Reach out through those fingers, lean back as far as you can without laying down or letting the feet lift. One more breath in, here we go. And exhale, forward spine stretch, reach out through the arms and dive towards your legs without bending the knees. Keep the toes facing the ceiling, three breaths. Two breaths. Relax down into the legs. Reach out through the arms. One more breath. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, unroll the back. Nice and slow, modified boat. Reach out through the fingers. Two breaths. Waking those abs up. One more big breath in, here we go. Exhale, forward spine stretch. We're gonna get a little deeper this time. Three breaths. Relaxing into the knees. Two more times. One more breath. Let's go ahead and unroll the back all the way down. So you're laying flat, make sure you have room behind you. If you need to just go to your side, that's always fine. Let's stretch everything out, let's decompress. Let's go right into that good morning stretch like I very, very often do when we first get flat. I like, it, I like to open the whole body up. Any opportunity we get, we can only do that laying down. Really, even when we're standing, we're still having all that downward force and gravity. Here we can really stretch things out, reach back through the arms, reach down through the toes, get as long as you can, take one more breath into it, hug the knees into your chest as firmly as you can, make sure that tailbone lifts up, take a couple of breaths, and then we're going to start off with double hip twists, we're going to keep the feet down. Drop your feet down, hip width apart roughly, and just don't have your feet too close to you. Have a, you know, a nice moderate angle at the knees. Relax your arms to your sides with palms down. And when you're ready, we're going to just rotate the knees side to side, keeping the feet in place. So the bottoms of your feet will come up, but don't let them move out of place. Keep them stationary. And what we're doing is we're getting that outer bottom knee to the floor, hopefully, and then that top knee, we're pushing down as close as we can to that bottom leg. And that is where we're getting that nice stretch on the back of the hip and low back. So get your legs as flat as you can as you twist over without letting your shoulders lift. So nice, just little, get some good gentle movement in the lumbar spine. We're stretch, we're actively stretching the back of the hips. And of course, the goal, like I said, is to keep trying to get that top knee closer and closer to that bottom leg as you twist over. Let's do three more breaths into it. Stay fluid, nothing fast or quick about this stuff with your breath. Everything is purposeful. Let's do one more on each side. One more breath with them. And good. Okay. Let's take that left leg down straight. Bring the right leg up. Point the toe. Lock the knee. 
we're going to do a hip floss. We're going to start activating a little bit. Let's open that hip joint up. So hip flosses, we draw a nice circle. Doesn't matter what direction you go. I guarantee you, you're probably going clockwise. Take them slow. You can do as big a circles as you want or as little a circles as you want. Just depends on how your hip is doing. If you're getting catching, clicking, any discomfort in the hip as you do this, just do smaller circles. You can go as small as you want. Let's do two more. Nice and slow, no gravity, no momentum. One more time around. And let's switch directions, switch directions with your hip floss. So we were doing abduction before. If you were going clockwise, that is. Counterclockwise, we're doing adduction. You're gonna feel in your inner thigh now. Warming up those hip muscles. Nice and slow, reaching through the toes. As soon as that knee bends, we're taking away movement in the hip. Three, two, and one. Of course, another stretch we do just about every class, our single line hip twist. Take that right knee over the hip at 90. Put your right arm out to your side, about 45 degrees from the shoulder with the palm up and turn your head and look down that right arm and take that right knee over with the left hand as far as you can without letting that shoulder lift up. We're not only stretching the back of the right hip into the low back, you should also feel a nice stretch in your chest on that right arm. We're really reaching out through those fingers, keeping it anchored. And as you push that knee over and find your sticking point, you should feel a nice stretch in your chest as well. Three breaths. One more breath. Okay, come back to the center nice and slow. Extend your right leg down straight. Bring your left leg up for hip floss. Here we go. Whichever direction you want to start, I'm guessing you're going to go counterclockwise because our hip structure likes this direction more. Reach through the toes. Nice, smooth, fluid circles. No gravity, no momentum, no jutting. Abs are in tight and we're moving with the breath. I'm kind of inhaling up. Exhaling out and down as it gets tougher. Three more. Inhale up. Exhale out and down. Two. One more time around. When you get to the bottom of your circle, go in the opposite direction. Opposite direction. And again, you can do as little or big of a circle as you want. Whatever it feels right for you today and for your hip. It's not uncommon to get some catching or kind of little uncomfortable feelings in the hip at certain points in these circles. There's a lot of ligaments in the hips that are very dense and fibrous. They do not want to move around. Three, two, and one, good. Bring that left knee over the hip. Single line hip twist. Left arm out to the side, 45 degrees roughly. The palm up, turn your head and look down your left arm as you take that left knee for three breaths past your sticking point. Two breaths. Boy, we might be just in time here. I think my mic pack batteries are dying. I can hear my mic keep cutting out. One more breath. Oh, there it is. Come back to the center nice and slow. Bring your right knee up to join your left. Put the bottoms of your feet together for butterfly. Use your elbows to push your knees out as wide as you can. And now pull your feet in towards your body, keeping those knees wide, three breaths. Bring those feet up as high as you can towards your chest. Sometimes we like to even add in a little 
back to the spine massage, side to side. That's up to you. Two more breaths. Open those hips up, push the knees wide, pull the feet in and up as high as you can towards your chest. One more breath. Oh, that's great. Put the legs down straight one at a time. We're gonna go ahead and go into our final cool down here. It's about that time. Corpse pose, Shavasana. Toes pointing out, heels facing in, arms to your sides with your palms up. Close your eyes. Let's take five nice, long, deep belly breaths all the way in and every bit of air all the way out. Keep them going. Four more big belly breath. Get as much air in as you can. Everything be heavy. Three. Two more big deep belly breaths. Fill those lungs up. That chest as tall as you can. Blow it all out. One more nice big deep belly breath. Excellent. Bring your arms behind you. Bring your feet a little bit off the floor if your back's okay with it. Stretch everything out. Wake yourself up. Reach back through the arms. Reach down through the toes with the feet a little off the ground if you can or keep them down. Take one more nice big breath into it. Reach, reach, reach. Okay, let those feet come down if you have them up. Open up your eyes. Set yourself up any way you like whenever you're ready to. And that is where we're going to have to end our yoga Lattes flow today. Let me come pause our recording.